everyone. So I'm doing things a little bit differently today. I'm gonna show you what I found um, before I even know what I found. So I spent about 45 minutes and I drove around to some apartment complexes near my house and I ended up finding three these behind me, these three huge bags, um, and they're all full of clothes and shoes. So I haven't looked through any of it, and I'm gonna kind of do it like an unboxing or like a haul reveal so we can see together what people threw out. Oh, and I wanted to mention that uh, today, everything I'm wearing is from the dumpster. So these are the shorts that I found in my last video, the cutoffs, and then I have on this cute um, top as well that was found in the dumpster. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna start with the smallest bag first. I weighed all three bags and it's 55 pounds total. So that was gonna go to a landfill and instead hopefully there's gonna be some good things that we can either sell or donate. So here we go, starting with the smallest bag. I already saw these. These are like men's boots. So um, they have a couple like scratches, scuffs, whatever, but overall they're in really good condition. Really nice shoes. So at this point, I haven't seen any of this stuff. I don't know what's in these bags. These, look at that. They still have the um, store stretchy thing on them. I'm gonna guess they're like from Target. Oh, here we go. They are Arizona Jean Co. So brand new. I mean, they need like a little bit of a dusting, but really good condition. A cute tie-dye floral top. kids athletic pants oh this is great this is a Levi's button-up um, another Levi's these have really good resale value that's awesome H&M distressed jeans a Doctor Who themed shirt Urban Pipeline men's like casual button down. Oh. <laughs> These still have all the original tags on them. They were $48. This also has the tag on it. These are Kim Rogers sweatpants and they were $40. Okay. So they paid 17, but these pants brand new with the tag. I don't know if they'll sell cause they're sweatpants, but I don't, it's very bizarre. Okay, so the end of that bag, that's done. We're gonna move on to this big Papa bag. Okay, we've got a sock. Some type of maybe like a cute dress for a wedding or something. Baseball pants. These are actually in fantastic condition for being baseball pants. No um, dirt stains or anything. Here's a purse. It is unbranded, but really pretty. It's a nice weight. Clean on the inside. That's awesome. Oh, Dan Skin Now. Okay, so that's like an athletic pullover hoodie. Another sock. Oh, this whole bag looks like it's all socks. I won't pull all those out. I'll leave those in there. This is Sonoma. One thing that I really like about um, selling on Poshmark with clothes that I have found dumpster diving is I have a much wider variety of clothes and sizes than most of the um, sellers have. So like this top right here is, this is a 4X, okay? So it, this is like a plus size shirt, um, but I can have stuff like this in my closet as well as kids stuff or an extra small men's shirt. It just is really cool because I'm able to reach more buyers because I have a wider variety than someone who might just be um, pulling stuff from their actual closet, like what it was originally 
designed for. Okay, this is an official uh, of the whatever Texas people. <laughs> this is a Texas Rangers official shirt. Okay, did that explain it? So that's really cool. That, I don't know what that'll sell for, but I know those are expensive. Through 21 Bermuda shorts. This is another Arizona Jean Co. That's like a cute tank. These, these are also new. These are Jag. I don't really know that brand at all, but they were originally $56. They got them for $20. Okay, brand new. A Duck Dynasty shirt. A Batman toboggan. Uh, men's shorts. A official NASCAR shirt. This is some type of bathing suit top that is like really crusty and I wish I hadn't have touched it. This is a this might actually be worth something. This is a official Mickey and Minnie shirt and it's from whatever the Mickey store or I mean it's a Disney shirt so this kind of looks like it might be a vintage edition so I'm gonna keep this one separate uh, even from this pile so that I can really look it up anything that's like an official shirt so like the official Texas Rangers shirt the even the official NASCAR shirt as opposed to like you bought it at Target but it's a NASCAR shirt those are gonna sell a lot better because they are the official merchandise of that company. This is another Disney shirt. So it's just like a basic red t-shirt with one big circle. I'm a glove finding, uniform washing, Gatorade getting, picture taken, Facebook posting, always cheering, baseball mom. Same. This is another Duck Dynasty shirt but so like this one isn't the official duck dynasty brand it's just like printed on a shirt versus the other one was an official from their merch store so that does make a difference when you're reselling last bag so this last bag i think I might actually have like real trash in it so i'm gonna pull it down here so that I can really look at what I'm touching, but I might be wrong. Let's see. We've got a cropped serendipity sweater. I'm gonna start putting these behind me. So this is a Disney shirt. So this Disney tank top. This is a official Sailor Moon tank top. Oh, this is North Face. So this is a North Face athletic shirt. Those are expensive. A cute little pocket tee. Now the problem with, with this, this is a cute shirt and it would probably sell, but all of the tags have been cut out. Same with on the neck. There's no back tag. So in order to sell this, I have to guess the size, which I could guess that this is probably a medium, but it's like you don't really know. So I might put it up and you can put like sizing tag is missing, approximate size small medium. You can put that, but it's harder to sell because people, you want to know that what you're going to buy, especially on a platform like Poshmark that doesn't allow for returns. You want to make sure that it is going to fit you. Honey Punch dress. But it does look like the lace has a lot of snags where you can kind of see like the elastic is starting to come off. So that one probably won't get anything. 
So these are Hollister shorts. Um, they're like maybe a little bit dingy, but they could be bleached and look perfect. So those are awesome. Uh, these pants right off the bat have a bunch of like tears in the crotch. So those are just gonna be trash. This is a pretty like tie scarf. Another racer back tank. Okay, so we're at the shoes. We've got Nike fly knit zooms. Um, these are, eh, no, they're in pretty poor condition. They both have holes on the tops, but if they're my size, I will definitely take them eight and a half. They might be a little bit big, but I'm definitely gonna try these on for myself. Okay, so these are maybe a little too dingy to sell, but donate. All right, so that's all of it. I'm now gonna separate it into piles of what I'm gonna donate, what I'm gonna sell, and then that way I can kind of try to explain like maybe how much I think I'll be able to get from this whole uh, haul. So yeah, I'll lay it out. All right, so everything's all sorted and it is laid out. I'll start with my donation pile over here. So this is everything that's gonna uh, be donated and it's all these like tops right here. This is more t-shirts. These are denim shorts and pajama pants and then all of these as well and this is like athletic pants and t-shirts combined. And then I decided to donate two pairs of the shoes and then this bra. The other shoes just weren't good enough condition to even donate. So that's all my donation stuff. And then right over here is everything that I'm going to be keeping. So from the trash today, I'm keeping 10 pairs of pants and 27 tops and sweaters. Um, and then as well, this purse, this Batman beanie, this cute little scarf, and three pairs of shoes. On Poshmark, where I'm gonna be selling all of these clothes, I'm currently averaging $6 an item. So far, I've sold 17 items on Poshmark. So a $6 average times the 37 pieces of clothing that I am keeping, I already did this on a calculator, is $222 uh, estimated profit. That doesn't include the shoes um, or the purse, or the fact that some of this stuff is gonna be more expensive than $6, especially the Minnie and Mickey vintage top and some of the Levi's stuff. So about, um, I'm gonna say 200 to $250 is what I'm gonna make off of this haul. This took me 45 minutes of diving, probably two loads of laundry to wash all of it and clean it up, and then the time it takes me to list um, all of this stuff on Poshmark. So I'm gonna say it's probably gonna take me four hours total. Um, so four hours divided by $200 is $50 an hour. So not bad for dumpster diving and hopefully all of this stuff sells quickly and it does make what I'm thinking it's gonna make. So thank you all for watching. Um, I know it was a little bit different this time. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.